Greetings to one and all. I am P.R. Narain from the School of Chemical and Biotechnology Shastra. This is a short video where I would explain how we can analyze the rheogram data and identify the type of fluid. The objective is we are given a rheogram data. By rheogram data, I mean the shear stress versus shear rate of a fluid is given. And we need to identify the fluid type and the flow consistency index. A typical rheogram data is as shown on the screen. So, we have a shear rate versus shear stress. Now, let us look into the concept that we are going to use. So, we know the expression of the equation for the power law of fluids or which is also called the Oswald equation which relates shear stress to the shear rate. So, the equation is as follows. Tau is equal to kappa into gamma dot power n where tau is the shear stress gamma dot is the shear rate, uh, the variable n denotes the flow behavior index and kappa denotes the flow consistency index. Now, based on this value of n, we can classify the fluids as Newtonian, dilatant or pseudoplastic. So, if n is equal to 1, it is a Newtonian fluid, if n is greater than 1, it is dilatant and if n is less than 1, it is pseudoplastic. So, we need to now use this data and identify the flow consistency index which is kappa and the flow behavior index which is n for this data and from the value of n we can tell what is the kind of fluid uh, for whose the data is given. So, let us see the working methodology. We will transform this power law model uh, by taking log so that it is linearized. So, we will have ln tau is equal to ln kappa plus n ln gamma dot. So, this is equation is of a straight line of the form y equal to mx plus c where x is basically ln gamma dot which is the ln of the shear rate and y is basically ln tau which is ln of shear stress. So, if you do linear regression taking this as x and y, so taking ln gamma dot as x and ln tau as y, we will get the slope and intercept. The slope directly gives the flow behavior index n and based on the value of n, we can classify the type of fluids and from the intercept, we can get the value of kappa, which is basically the flow consistency index as shown in this equation. So, we are given this data, we need to first find out ln gamma dot and ln tau. So, once we have got ln gamma dot and ln tau, we can do a linear regression or the least square fit. We can use calculator or you can uh, plot on a graph and try to get the best fit line on the graph sheet and then try to get the slope and intercept and from the slope and intercept we can identify the type and the consistency index. You can refer to these URLs on the Wikipedia which gives further information on the power law fluid and the apparent viscosity. One can also refer to the book of McCabe and Smith in chapter 3. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps you to solve the problem on rheogram data. Thank you.